Hey y'all, Toad here. Well, this is going to be kind of a follow-up to the uh, Let's Go Where We're Wanted video. And uh, yeah, this news is probably a few days old. I can't always stay on top of uh, breaking news. Plus, I, I try and uh, let things bubble for a little while because, you know, as we all know, breaking news... All too often, the uh, the facts and details get sacrificed for uh, for expediency, trying to be the first one to break news. So, bear with me on that. But it would appear that the uh, the Mississippi excuse me the Mississippi House Speaker, uh, a representative from Texas, and at least I have heard from a private individual that representatives from Arizona have, have uh, begun approaching the different firearms manufacturers and firearms uh, accessories manufacturers who uh, happen to be located in states that are less than friendly to the to the Second Amendment of the Constitution. This makes me real happy. To me, you know, if you have... Again, I'm a native of Massachusetts, and let's just take Smith & Wesson for an example. Smith and Wesson and Springfield have been in that area for for well over a century, and these are not small companies. Uh, these are companies with a rich history, and uh, they employ a lot of people. I do not understand why a company whose business relies on respecting the US Constitution would even consider staying located in a state that has over time become the poster child for progressive thinking. Uh, if you're a resident of one of those states and heaven forbid you work for one of those companies I'm sorry if, uh, if if you get hurt if they move. Now, will they move or not? You know, I don't know. That is a big deal to uh, to move away from a, from an area, especially for for companies that have been there for as long as some of these have. But at the very least, should these companies make absolute sure they are not paying any taxes to that state? It's time for these companies to wake up. And realize that those states that respect the Constitution, Mississippi, Texas, Arizona, three right off the bat that come to mind, they will welcome you with open arms. And they will welcome your employees with open arms. Um, and if you can't, for one reason or another, relocate, then at the very least, put the screws to these people that are screwing you. I really think that uh, if you're going to get treated this way in, in states like New York, Massachusetts, and Connecticut, then by all means, um, use the threat of moving, even if you can't, to, uh, to not pay the state anything. Because this the state doesn't uh, doesn't respect you, does not respect your business, does not respect the constitutional uh, need and uh, constitu constitutionality in and of itself of your business. This this is a, this is something that's near and dear to my heart. Um, I would be mortally embarrassed um, if I still lived in one of these states and found out that the state was treating them in the fashion that they're treating them in while collecting all of the all of the taxes and uh, not to mention just I mean a business that has hundreds if not thousands of employees brings an incredible amount of commerce to the area where it's located and even if you can't move guys recognize that let them have it because they're certainly sticking it to you.